Hi, I'm Chad Lingefeld, and this is another LockDoc video tutorial. Today, we're going to be talking about the Arrow Revolution and Yale InTouch Combination Lock. Big feature with this is it's a touch screen activated lock. So you can think of this in the same type of aspect as your iPhone or Android phone, where it requires fingers or capacitive touch to activate the screen. One of the biggest questions that we get with the Aero Revolution and Yell in Touch Lock is how do you activate the screen? I'm up here and I'm uh, pushing on the screen and nothing is coming up and I can't get the screen to work. The batteries must be dead. Well, it's a simple security and battery saving feature that the manufacturer in included so that it would extend the life of your batteries on your touch screen lock. So it requires at least three fingers to activate the screen. And depending on the size of your fingers, sometimes you can get two to work, sometimes it requires four. What I like to recommend is either the palm of your hand or the back of your fingers to activate the lock. So it will work with at least three fingers to activate the screen. Or again, you can take the palm of your hand and simply place it over the screen to activate it. Or you can take uh, the back of your fingers and activate the screen as well. Once the screen comes alive, it will stay up for a few seconds or time out. If you do not do anything with the lock at that time, it'll time out and turn off. You can go in and punch your code in. So this one has one, two, three, four as a temporary code. Your code obviously may differ, but if you place one, two, three, four on the lock, you'll hit the star key at the end of that and it will allow you to unlock the door. So once again, you're going to take at least three fingers to activate the lock. One, two, three, four is our temporary code followed by the star key and that is going to activate the lock and you can pull the handle down. You'll see the latch retract. One other feature to keep in mind from a visual perspective, once you punch the correct code in, followed by the star key, the screen will wipe up indicating that it's unlocked. Once the time completes, it will wipe down indicating that the lock is now locked behind you. You also will get a chime when that happens both directions so when you walk away from the lock you can be assured that it has returned to a locked state. So once again you just cover it with three fingers, punch in your code, followed by the star key, activate the lock, pull the door open or push the door open and you are in. Thanks for watching. This has been another LockDoc video tutorial.